In some ways, cities are great, but they can also be expensive, dirty and overpopulated. That's why you may think that having an abandoned city all to yourself would be a dream come true. You would have infinite space and would never have to wait in traffic ever again. But once you learn the dark backstories and secrets behind these abandoned cities, you'll rethink that. From Ford Car Company's abandoned city in Brazil, to Chinese cities built for millions which house zero people. Zombie apocalypse. Plymouth, Montserrat. Montserrat is a beautiful island in the Caribbean, but venture far enough into this island and you'll find the city of Plymouth. In the early 90s, 4,000 people lived here. But one day in 1995, everyone in it was told they had to leave immediately. This was because of a very large volcano near the city. It was on the verge of erupting, so everyone had to leave. The volcano had caused minor damage. But two years later in 1997, the volcano completely erupted. The Soufre Hills volcano covered Plymouth in 40 feet of ash. And the volcano is still active to this day. That's why any tourists are told not to go to this city. You can take a boat tour and see the outskirts of this place. But a few people have snuck in and taken some amazing and daring photos. It's so sad this beautiful city had to be abandoned. But in hindsight, maybe it wasn't the best idea to build a city right by an active volcano. Hashima Island, Japan. This is an abandoned city located on an island. In the 1970s, Japan was building their economy. One of the ways they did this was coal production, and lots of this happened on Hashima Island. The island was a great place. It had all the amenities you could imagine in a normal city, only everyone in it was a coal miner. 5,000 coal miners lived on this island east of Japanese mainland. But over the years, as Japan modernized, petrol began beating coal, and this caused coal plants to shut down, meaning the island was abandoned. One day in the 1970s, all of the coal miners left on boats. Because the island was owned by the coal company, they didn't give them much notice. Because of this, all of these structures are still on this island. Today, the Japanese government says you can't visit this island on your own, but rare guided tours of some portions of the island are done. But have no fear, Google have actually made a virtual tour of this abandoned island. This island also is rumored to be haunted. That may sound crazy, but it has a pretty dark past before it was used as a coal mine. During World War II, it was used as a forced labor site. This is where prisoners of war would have to mine coal all day. Ghost Cities, China. This is not just one city. If you go to China, you'll find many mega cities. These are built to house millions of people, but the population is a big fat zero. These ghost cities are made of fancy villas, high-rise apartments, lakes, parks, and roads. The only thing missing is people. There's around 50 of these ghost cities in China, but construction of these continues. But why is this? Well, it's because of China's economy. It's no secret that they're the fastest growing economy in the world, and they will soon kick the USA off the number one spot. However, their economy is driven by debt. This means local governments try and stimulate their economies by building more and more. They hope this will stimulate the property market, creating a housing bubble. It's said that China has around 70 million empty apartments. But you would not want to go to one of these ghost towns. For one, all of the architecture looks the same, so you may get lost and not be able to find your way out. Not only that, if anything bad happened to you, there's no one around to help. There are no citizens or police for miles around these cities. And because some are still in the process of being built, there's many dangerous construction apparatuses all over the place. Kolmanskop, Namibia For much of the 19th century, Kolmanskop in Namibia had nothing going on. But everything changed for the city in 1908. That's when a diamond was found in the area. This sparked a gigantic diamond mine. This created lots of jobs, money, and industry. Not long after, the city had movie theaters, schools, casinos, and even an ice factory. But the thing about diamonds is, they're pretty rare. This meant that as the diamond supply went down, so did the population. Today, Kolmanskop has zero diamonds. And it also has zero people, as there's no jobs here. Most of the buildings have sand tall enough to cover your knees. Anyone can go here and explore. But that's if you don't mind the eeriness of this ghost town. All of the houses are filled up with sand. And the same is the case for the diamond mine, which is now nowhere to be seen. Fortlandia, Brazil. 
When is a company too powerful? Is it when they control too much of the market? Is it when they're a monopoly? Or is it when they have their very own city? Well, that's exactly what Henry Ford, the founder of Ford, tried to do. In the 1930s, Ford decided to make a city in Brazil. They wanted a way to make cheap rubber, and they decided that they would use the natural resources from the Amazonian jungle. Because no one lived in the jungle except tribes, they had to build their own city, which they named Fordlandia. The goal was to make super cheap rubber in Brazil. They would then ship all of this over to the United States where they would use it on their cars. But it turned out that Fordlandia was a famous example of blue sky thinking. Henry Ford had a poor understanding of the ecological challenges. It turns out it's not so simple to extract rubber from the Amazon jungle. Who would have thought it would be hard to set up a city in the world's most dangerous jungle? Well, Ford did not, and that's why this city was abandoned in 1934. Today, you can see the abandoned factory and water tower. You can also find a few of the houses they built for the workers. But most of these have decayed and become destroyed over time. Bodie, California. Today, California is known for sunny beaches and surfing, but during the late 1800s, the gold rush was going on, and Bodie, California was a city where the streets were almost paved with gold. Well, not exactly paved, but there was gold underneath it. That's why thousands of miners lived and worked in Bodie. At the city's height, there were 65 saloons. That's the equivalent to a city with 65 nightclubs today. But over the years, the gold rush went away, as all of the gold was mined up. By 1942, the only thing that existed in Bodie was the post office, and later that year it closed down as well. Now, many people visiting the Yosemite National Park explore Bodie, California. It's a pretty eerie gold rush town, and because it's been abandoned, it really looks like a cowboy's town. The buildings and relics of vehicles are original, and it seems like the perfect spot to film a spaghetti western. Pripyat, Ukraine the date was the 26th of April, 1986. Reactor number 4's core at the Chernobyl nuclear plant exploded. And this meant that the 50,000 residents in the nearby Pripyat had to leave. They had pretty much no time to pack their belongings and had to leave in a matter of hours. It used to be a great Soviet city. There was a fairground and also large apartments. There were also factories in the area too, meaning many people lost their jobs when Chernobyl happened. But today the only thing living in the city is nature. Everywhere is totally overgrown, and it's still too contaminated for anyone to live in it. The radiation has fallen enough for you to walk around for a few hours, but if you lived here, this would be terrible for your health. So when will this place be safe again? Well, the actual nuclear plant will be safe in 20,000 years. And the surrounding area, for example Pripyat, will be safe in 3,000 years according to experts. Although by then we'll likely be living on Mars. Verosha, Cyprus. In the 1970s, Verosha, Cyprus was said to be a millionaire's playground. The world's top celebrities would visit. And there were boats, luxury cars and hotels all over the place. But all of that changed in August of 1974. That was when Turkey invaded Cyprus. Verosha's 15,000 residents fled the city. Because they thought they would return once the war was over, they left all of their valuables and livelihoods behind. But there's been ongoing tensions in the region ever since. And that's why no one has ever ventured back to this city. Recently, there was talk of trying to get this place going again. But they worked out it would cost 12 billions to make the decrepit buildings livable again. So we likely won't see this former luxury city open anytime soon. North Brother Island, New York. Did you know that there's an abandoned island in New York? The 20 acre island is totally isolated. In the 1800s, it was a pandemic hospital to quarantine people with smallpox. But by the 1960s, it was totally abandoned. Today, trees and vegetation have taken over the island, and the city of New York has banned anyone from going onto it. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these abandoned cities you would want to go to, if any. Thanks for watching. There are some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed.